So the other day I decided to install Pro Tools 9.0.3 updater. After I did that, I rebooted the computer, decided to open a session, and I got an error. Closed the session, opened a couple of other sessions, got the same error. So I decided to delete a preference file. I did, closed Pro Tools, restarted, launched Pro Tools again, I got the same error. So I went over to the DUC and I found this application. And basically, it does the same thing. It deletes the preference files. But I guess I missed a couple. And that's why uh, it didn't work. So let's just get right into it. So over here you have Trasher. And as you can see it has a 64, 32-bit, which is pretty cool. You have Recycle, DAE, PT Prefs, Database, App Data. You have Recycle, DAE, PT Preferences, Recycle, Database Folder, Recycle, App Data Folder. Over here you have a backup DAE PT preference and restore DAE PT preferences. Open plugin window, which is pretty cool because it's going to take you to the directory where all your plugins are. But you know what? You don't want to open this application just to get here all the time. There's an easier way to do that. You could just shortcut the folder, go over to DAE. Once you're there, find your plugins uh, folder, right click, go to send to, go to desktop. Let's check it out. Let me minimize that. Right over here, I have the same folder. So just shortcut it to your desktop and you're good to go. Open log folder. And basically, let's say you're on the phone with the um, Avid technicians and they ask you for the log file. You're going to send them all these files or the newest one. You have a readme file and then you have recycle air database. I uh, press that option too. Close this and launch Pro Tools. Everything should work fine. If you're still having errors, then I suggest go over to the DUC, post the error message, and eventually somebody will help you. But I find that most of the error messages are because of those preference files. They're corrupted for whatever reason. So this is a pretty cool app. It's going to be in the description. Check it out. Also, I'm going to have another link that's going to take you to an application that does the same thing, but it's for the Mac, different developers. I currently don't have a Mac, so I can't make a video show you guys how that works. But check it out. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. This is Ray, and I'm out of here. Later.